in life. There's only one thing better than a Sony PD-170. And that's having a second one. Yes, it's true. You can't be having two PD-170s. I know I'm going to sound like a bit of an arse, but you know what? I hear people sounding asses all the time, and uh, I have to put up with it. So, And besides, it is kind of rare, you know, this sort of, uh, to have something like this, two of them. Now then, this one came as it is. This one came with the Sony wide-angle lens that you see fitted, which is uh, 0.75 and gives you that much more of a view. I'll show you. Uh, it's interesting to see what the difference is. Bear in mind we're working in bright light. Uh, here we are. We've got the edge of the chair, uh, the plant. You can't really see the table. You could just see the bottom edge of it. And the top. Whereas on this one. Uh, damn. Not sure what you can see. Ah. Uh, Try that. So this one hasn't got a cassette in it. This doesn't have a cassette in it, so it's got that flashing light. Uh, you can have it set so you can have both. It's a black and white viewfinder. Uh, you can have the viewfinder set to work when the screen's open. Uh, black and white, because apparently black and white is easier to tell when something's in focus. That's why the viewfinder's black on these. So you can have either, you know, both or one or the other. Yeah, so great camera. Good far far wide connection on this perfect uh, this one there's a problem with it well I've patched it up as I showed you in the last video um, I proved the connection with the aid of a staple it's better than it was but not as good as it should be I think that's a fair assessment and this is the design I'm talking about, where it's right, it's not only the straps in the way, you look, this is, but absolutely sod of a, of a plug design, you know, it's just a bad design, full stop, end of, you know. Not only do you have the problems with the with the four pins being fragile, and it's the second pin from the left that's gone. You can see you've got first on the left, third and fourth are in you can see the pin where's it gone well tell me uh, you can see the top of it at the back there and I was able to say to rescue it but yeah um, I think Sony did that and didn't stick with it like this is this is a, a tried and trusted connection right these are great connections everyone loves them uh, like, a, like a stereo jack connection you know they work but I think Sony wanted to avoid paying Apple a royalty on, the, on, the, on using an eye link at this end of the cameras. And so we got this. And, and, and the, all the other manufacturers sort of went along with it after format wars with Betamax and whatever else. Said, so, well, we'll just... Uh... Now, of course, if you, if you have this lens in, one of the things we can quickly look at I'll set it up. Hello, 
course, uh, the great thing about another great thing about these cameras compared to this one, they're still running. I haven't done anything. There's nothing going on. They're just running and capturing uh, without even a cassette in. If I if that was connected by the firewire to a computer, it would be recording. The great thing about having two of these in, you can have one remote control, and uh, it operates them both. Which you can't moan about. No. You're going to get more zoom the 12 times with without the lens on it than with it. Although I have to say, looking at that, you can't really tell, right? But um, logically, if you're filming a landscape, you might want to um, get rid of the zoom. So there you go. I mean, this one, you've got if you're doing connecting to go straight to a hard drive uh, or you know and you might use your hard drive to do stop motion or something you've got to make sure every before five minutes is up you record a few spools onto some tape to keep the machine talking to the computer via the firewire whereas with these don't just forget about it so that's the truly great thing about these professional uh, 170s so bye from me and bye from Doris. Goodbye, Jim. Goodbye, guys. See you later. When I'm at a wash. Yeah. I'll see you when I'm at a wash and I fix the zoom on the camera. Because like I'm using I've got all these cameras and I've got such a stupid little phone camera, because you know phones and all that. You know it's like you got all this modern technology and you still keep using your phone. Plant on the right chair. A lot more of the plant on the left, bottom of the table. I've not zoom off, so I'm going to zoom in. Low speed zoom. See now, the digital zoom is pretty good. It effectively doubles the 12, so it's a doubling of it. Let's double that now, which I can do by going through the menus. Do it in situ if you like. Uh, up, go into that. Ready? Oh, wide screen. We don't want that. That's just not good. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. Up. Turn it off. Wait a minute. I think I, I think I've got to hit menu again or go out. Right, and then it should come on. No. I've taken the digital off this one and put it on this one. And that's all folks.